What do you look for when screening resumes? Hey everyone, welcome back to another Exponent Engineering Management Mock Interview. My name is Kevin and on today's show we have Sagar. And before we get started, can you just tell the audience a little bit about yourself? Sure. Hi, Kevin. Nice to meet you today. Thanks for having me. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Sagar. I am currently an engineering manager at Amazon. In my previous role, I was a senior TPM and grew into the engineering management role. My background is in software engineering. I've been in the, in the industry for a little over a decade. Um, nice to be here, Kevin, again. Great. So for today's question, I'd like to ask you, what do you look for when screening resumes? Great question. So screening resumes is something we do on a regular basis. And uh, sometimes given the volume of applicants uh, that, uh, that come for a specific role, uh, screening resumes has become an art. Uh, more than a chore. So a couple of things I look for at the outset, if I were to divide those into two categories for what I look for, one is the semantics and the structure of the resume and two is the content. So structure is what catches your eye, eye consciously or subconsciously. So I make sure that I prefer a one page resume because uh, regardless of the number of years of experience, I, I'm a firm believer in that uh, uh, you can consolidate your experience into one page and really make an impression. Because if you think from a reader's perspective, usually resumes don't get more than like a minute of uh, the reader's attention, especially when screening large volumes of resumes. So it is in the best interest of the applicant to keep uh, the resume um, crisp and only provide the relevant details and the information within uh, one page. And then all the other minor things such as formatting and font size, um, and the colors, all those matter too, because like I said, they, they make a conscious or a subconscious impression. Um, so once that is out of the way, I look for, uh, then I start getting into the content. Um, and depending on the level and the specific requirements for that role, uh, I go through the content and see if this person, um, you know, has the experience. Let's say for instance, it is uh, for a lower entry level job. Then in that case, I would, not focus much on what they've done in their prior experience because they may not have had a lot of experience, maybe a couple of internships here and there. But I would look for uh, uh, look for uh, you know things that they've learned and if they exhibit the potential. Are they enthusiastic? Um, have they taken any you know for instance, it's not mandatory, but have they taken any uh, you know trainings on the side? Have they participated in conferences? Does it show that this person is involved and enthusiastic about their career and the field in which they are in? Like for a software engineer role, um, you know, have they, have they, like for instance, if someone, let's say, has a history of participating in uh, competitive programming, I think that's a, that's a good um, sign that this person is passionate about programming. So do they have the passion and potential is what I look for um, in entry level roles or roles with uh, which require limited years of experience. However, the more senior we get, I tend to look for both the passion and uh, as well as the experience of whether they've done, uh, you know, been in similar shoes and done similar roles uh, in the past, given their experience and what kind of contributions they've made to their respective prior organizations. Um, so each bullet point, usually I prefer it to be structured um, in the task and uh, what they've done and what was the result that was produced. Um, so I look for that and, and especially, let's say a specific role requires a specific skill set. Like for instance, when I'm hiring for a software engineer to work on a machine learning project, um, then I need to, uh, then I pay special attention to see, uh, does this resume, does this person have uh, you know, good so general software engineering background and experience, and also do they have uh, the experience working in uh, machine learning projects? Um, so that's how I see if it fits the requirements of uh, my specific role. Um, and yep, those are the usual, uh, those are the usual set of criteria that I go through uh, in a resume. So the more specific the role is, uh, the more uh, attention I pay and look for those, uh, uh, those criteria. And to close that out, um, I also observe um, if the candidate has taken uh, the, uh, you know, the time and effort to, to craft their resume in such a way that it appeals to the specific job. Like I need to get that feeling that 
after reading the resume that this is the right person. And usually if that could happen through coincidence, but a lot of times it happens when a candidate is genuinely interested to work with a particular organization and a particular team, and they work on their resume to make it appealing to the reader, to the hiring manager or to the recruiter. And you can tell that by the content that they put on the resume, which will closely mirror the job uh, requirements. So that would be a great way to uh, have a resume shortlisted and um, you know get get on top of the pile. So one question I have for you is, can you tell me about a time when you saw a resume and it just really blew you away, or maybe um, a resume that stood out to you? And just tell me like what you saw on that resume that really blew you away. Sure. Um... I can talk about a time when the same uh, machine learning experience that I was referring to earlier. So I, my team traditionally uh, did not work on machine learning until a couple of years ago, but uh, in the last two years or so, we've had uh, some projects for machine learning uh, and we wanted to build that pipeline of candidates having a machine learning experience, a software engineer who could also double as a machine learning uh, engineer or an applied scientist, if you will. Um, so for this role, when I was hiring, a lot of resumes that came my way were the traditional software engineer roles. So if, 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 there are, if those resumes are good, I would probably funnel them to a different uh, hiring manager that I know is hiring software engineers. But one resume that, uh, that particularly caught my attention was of a candidate who made sure uh, they wrote a summary, uh, which was in a way directly addressed to the hiring manager. And that summary read that, you know, this is what I understand about this role and this is what I believe you're looking for. And here is why I think I'm a good candidate for this role. It, it wasn't a separate cover letter, but it was part of the summary. Um, usually the summaries that I read are, I'm a high performing individual. I have 10 plus years experience. I'm motivated. All that good stuff is important. But for this specific role, when that person tailored that message specifically to the reader, it almost felt like that person was talking to me. Um, and then going into the, and then when you further, uh, when I further went through the resume, um, the, the kind of points that were listed, the kind of achievements, the kind of background and education, all the way back to that person's undergraduate coursework, he had listed down all the specifics that he felt were related to this job. A lot of those were related, but some of those I could understand where, the, where that person was coming from. He was enthusiastic. He wanted to showcase uh, the skills that he had and he wanted an opportunity to interview. Uh, it was more like showing that, hey, I have these skills. I think I'm a great candidate to be interviewed. Um, so that, that was the message I got directly from that uh, resume and we immediately proceeded to um, you know, set up the interview. Great. So I think we can pause the mock interview here. Uh, thanks for the answer. You did a good job of giving a structured, a theoretical uh, answer on how you would approach this problem. And then um, I liked how when I asked you for a concrete example, you all were also able to provide one. Um, I'm wondering if you might have any final thoughts on the topic or if you have any self-feedback you'd like to give yourself here. Um, not really, but I mean, resume review is again, some some could just spend 20 seconds 30 seconds but um i i don't have any other specific thoughts um so um yeah i, I can't think of anything um great no no worries it was a very thorough answer so for the viewers who's watching um good luck with your upcoming engineering management interview thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons below to let us know that this video is valuable for you. And of course, check out hundreds more videos just like this at tryexponent.com. Thanks for watching and good luck on your upcoming interview.